so here we are on aliexpress store what is the first one we're looking at i'll just bring you across to a couple of ones that i haven't spoken about there's a new uh pilot watch from san martin 150 pounds 38 millimeters does use the white and 55 movement looks quite cool they do have this uh very high contrasting dial very simple as well great legibility on it so if you are a fan of pilot watches uh, they've got some really nice details present blacked out hands or you can get a inverted colors on the other option onion style crown which looks really good in pictures let's have a closer look at that uh, usual san martin finishing really nice and it's not too expensive comes with engineer style bracelet you're looking at 150 pounds which is not too bad around 180 190 dollars i believe um scroll down slightly let's see what else we have yeah 44.5 very compact log width thickness of 13 millimeters as it states on their website sapphire bgw9 all the usual specifications i think that does look quite cool not too sold on the engineer style bracelet uh, but yeah it's gonna be a good bracelet it is san martin right i think this is a very nice simple uh sort of pilot watch that you can get 38 millimeters as well so really good dimensions now let's move away let's see what we have to look at next so let me bring your attention to uh suges now suges i have featured a couple of the watches quite a long time ago now and they have got a couple of new ones so let's look at the first one the suges uh let's call it the galaxy dial uh and it runs the seagull st2528 mechanical movement i don't know what that is uh but it is a moon face movement very elegant uh dress watch i love the dial um the text is on either side of the dial you've got the date function uh halfway up the dial above the hands dauphine style hands and you've got the moon face function just above the six so 41 millimeter case diameter 14 mil thick uh, under 90 grams in weight 50 meters of water resistance bgw9 loom um, and it looks quite good i think it's a very elegant watch um, it's got a blue leather strap that comes with it an onion style crown um, and i think this will be really good to look at have they sold any yes 13 orders all rated five star just if i can show you some pictures so another watch channel has reviewed this really likes the watch that's a stunning dial you know i think i'm gonna try and get this in for review going back to the price sale price of 133 pounds which is 180 dollars i think that's a really good price for something that looks so different so if dive watches aren't you think i know i heavily focus on dive watches but that's what i like um that's definitely one to look at so i'm just scrolling down to see some really closer pictures you can just see here I think that looks quite nice fully polished brushing on the sides some really nice details present okay that's one to definitely check out next one is this nice little chronograph 44 orders five star review so this is a 40 millimeter chronograph uh it is similar to the 1963 homages that they did uh those chinese military sort of watches now this one looks more like a racing dial um you've got tachymeter present on there you've got these really nice dials at the at the three and six really bold colors i love what they've done with this cream color dial variant as you can see the hands are in yellow and red you've got lightning bolt style seconds hand um you've got some really cool looking sub dials they look like dials on a race car and you've got some color coding on the tachymeter red and orange looks like a rev limiter so i think that's a really nice watch i like what they've done with that dial there and you know with all those orders full five star it's quite rare to get that uh, it must be a really fantastic watch so feel free to check this out it does use the st1901 movement um and it's a good movement it's a column wheel uh chinese movement and it works really well of course a mechanical chronograph so you do have to hand wind it so it looks good i think it's a definitely good pick if you are interested in something different now moving on to the next one let's see what i have for you yes i've got to add these dive for you guys now, i've reviewed this watch previously it's the retro vintage diver now they have gone through a few changes um but i'll say but what i will say the the watch case is superb i really love this watch case um if you haven't seen the review of the previous models i'll see if i can show you a little clip from it um, those twisted lugs look so nice the case shape is amazing uh, the bezel functions really well uh, now they've gone for this different style of dial i think it looks really cool 
they have changed the high dome's crystal though uh, which was rather appealing a bit of a usb for the watch uh, but they've gone with a top hat style sapphire as you can see which still looks good the loom is not going to be that strong and powerful don't let the picture fool you it is the old radium style loom so it's going to be a little bit dull uh, and on the bezel but that's the characteristic of that loom now i like the design i think they probably got it right um, they haven't gone for those mercedes style hands they haven't gone for the sub style markers they've gone for something different does kind of remind me of the certina i think ds uh, dive watches uh, with those straight lines baton markers but i really like the texture dial let's see if i can zoom in slightly guys texture dial don't mind the logo too much i love that red hand uh, those sword style hands as well date window three o'clock crown uh, it does have a polished center link bracelet but it's all solid uh fitted really nicely it does also come with a leather strap but you do have a stamped clasp uh, 140 pounds you're looking at which is what is it 180 dollars i'll pop the correct pricing anyway but i think that's a really good watch to look forward to i think finally they have nailed that dial design and uh just have a closer look at that ad2105 i think that is quite a cool looking watch 46 millimeter log to log 40 millimeter case diameter uh, and i think that's got really nice dimensions and the quality of it is really good i've had this in hand a couple of times next on the list i've got one from merca for you guys i did review this watch it's the 38 millimeter timex q homage took me by surprise honestly upgraded specifications it's got a hardened mineral glass crystal if i'm not mistaken uh, it's also got a seiko nh 36 movement in there You've got 200 meters of water resistance. You've got some really nice, classy, retro uh, looks. Good finishing. Um, comes with a bracelet, which is very vintage. It's not a an amazingly well done bracelet, but it's not meant to be. You've got a really nice dial. Loom is a bit poor, but again, so was the Timex. Um, it's got integrated logs. I actually really enjoyed this watch. I gave it away to a friend of mine, so I don't have it here. Um, but you know, it's definitely one that I would have kept. Um, I love the dimensions on it. Thin case good compact log to log and the pricing of this watch is 96 pounds 130 dollars so if you're looking for something truly vintage inspired uh, you know really good uh, fit on the wrist um, and you know it's the watch that they say timex should have made uh, so the timex killer <laughs> so really nice looking watch i gotta say i was very impressed by this from merca okay now uh, let's have a look at the next one uh Cadison sport let's find the Cadison sport um yes so very budget price here 65 pounds uh, you're looking at which is going to be around 88 dollars it does however feature the miyota 8000 series movement um i've had a few Cadison watches they're all built well the loom isn't amazing but it's okay and uh, this is a sporty looking watch it's got 32 orders all five star people seem to be very happy with it 39 millimeter diameter case thickness at 11.5 which i'm not too sure about uh because they do kind of um put down less on the thickness they don't seem to include the case back or the crystal sometimes but it's got really good looks as you can see here milled clasp a decent bracelet polished center links see-through case back and uh, i think the dial looks nicely done uh polished and brushed case i think that's a nice dust watch different enough uh and like i said it hasn't really tried to go up has it it's you know under 80 dollars so around 80 dollars you get a really good looking watch but you also got the backing off you know 32 orders with a five star review rating so that's one to consider now i'm going to mention some golden oldies um first and foremost let's talk about the tuna price wise from steel dive you're looking at 82 pounds so just over 100 dollars i think if you look for something really retro steel dive do an amazing job great loom uh, ns85 you know decent bracelet it's not the best uh you know the bezel rotation is a bit 50 50 uh it's either good or it's just either bad they've got a lot of dial options uh, but you know i've modded so many of these watches you can't complain for the price at all uh very solid and it's got those you know typical tuna style looks um and everything else is good about it like i said bear the price in mind uh, but it still is a good watch i'll also like to mention at the same time while we are here captain willard good old sd 1970 the steel life captain willard i think the first watch i got from aliexpress i still have mine 
it's a lovely watch they have now been producing this watch for a well, long time um and the bracelet isn't all that but i do prefer these on those waffle or tropical straps um the bezel rotation has greatly improved very good lube uh very good case finish uh and everything is just great on this 67 pounds around the hundred dollar mark definitely can't go wrong very good first mechanical or automatic watch um, and of course it's got those really good um, homage looks from the original model 43 44 millimeter case diameter um, lock to lock of 47 millimeters very compact on the wrist wears really well don't let the 44 millimeter case diameter put you off at all this watch does wear extremely well on smaller wrists so please if you get time check that out last two now let's have a look at what we have from Phileda. So we have the Phileda in front of us, the No Time to Die homage. Their best NTTD homage on AliExpress. Um, it ticks so many boxes. I reviewed this and I compared it against the Heimdall and also the uh, Pagani design. For me, this is probably the best made. Uh, it's got amazing quality, great bracelet, great bezel action. Uh, the case is finished so well they got just so many things right with this you can get a branded and unbranded dial i know how people feel about the file leader name uh everything else on it it just looks so good 41 millimeter case diameter double dome sapphire and the great thing about this is you can get the pt5000 which is a high beat movement for around 126 pounds which is 170 dollars so amazing value for money 200 meters of water resistance you got a matte ceramic bezel insert uh just so much on this watch and it's so comfortable the bracelet is really nice uh it's done well it's not a cheap imitation by by any means it does not feel like a cheap watch on wrist and in hand um that much i can say and you know the reason i like this so much is because i really don't like this design i'm not a fan of the omega n ttd um uh, but Looking at the file leader, I was like, wow, that's that's made so well. So that's definitely one to check out. Now, drawing to a close, guys, I appreciate it is quite a long video. Uh, I think there's one I wanted to mention, but I won't be able to mention it. As I said, when you are on AliExpress, you see related watches, you want to buy anything else. As long as you've used my link to initiate that, it's not an issue, guys. Just buy what you want. Now, let's go down and let's show you the last one of the bunch. Now, this is not my recommendation. Rather, it's a recommendation from you guys. I had a few subscribers message me about this one watch. Um, you know, people have bought it are, are loving it. So let's look at the price first and foremost. You are looking between 75 and 88 pounds. Now, one is NS35 and one is the PT5000. That is just on that point to get a PT5000 movement for hundred and eighteen dollars 87 pounds is unheard of on aliexpress yet it's absolutely crazy i think the movement should be probably half the price if not more of this watch uh, and as you can see it's a 62 mass style watch they store they have a lot more different homages out there but you know on a nice classical design the 62 mass pt5000 for you know around 120 dollars amazing specs ceramic sapphire but the dimensions are quite off. They are, I believe it's the same case as the Heimdall 62 Mass. You got a 41 millimeter case diameter, a 50 mil log to log, quite large. Um, you know, I think it's 50 mil log to log. And a 15 and a half mil case thickness due to the box style sapphire crystal. Um, specs wise, fantastic value for money. Um, this is probably going to have a knock-on effect on some retailers now because they've yet dropped the price again. So, but for a consumer, yourselves, great news. Okay, so that was the last watch uh, that I've got to mention on my recommendations. So, thank you guys for watching. As you can see, as I showed you, there is a lot of great options. This time around, guys, just try and focus on getting good value for money. Don't just blow money on a cheap watch doesn't matter if it's 100 pound 90 pound and you just think it's cheap if it's got flaws it's not all what you want feel free to look around there's a lot of watches here in a really competitive price bracket uh, and that will give you great value for money so remember please use those links in the description start using them as soon as the sale kicks off and just buy some really good pieces for yourselves let me know in the comments what you purchased uh, and hopefully everything comes safe and sound it's all working great qc Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.